Hi everybody, it's that time of the week again and I have another great recipe for you to try. Um, I'm not in my kitchen today, I'm actually in the break room here at the library. So it looks a little different, but we still have great things to cook. Today we're going to be making blueberry streusel coffee cake. And it's very, very tasty. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is make the streusel topping. So I have uh, a cup of flour here. And then I need a cup of packed brown sugar. Now it's very important when you measure your brown sugar that you pack it in the cup. And I find the easiest way to do that is to dig down in there with my cup and just push on the bag to push him into the cup. Okay, there's a half. get another half. Okay, perfect. All right. And then the next thing we need um, is three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Excuse me, a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Um, the first time I made this, I did a single recipe and I didn't think it was quite enough. So I'm doubling it this time because I have a large pan. So we need one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. And then we have eight tablespoons of melted butter. And we just pour that all together. And, okay. And then you're just going to take a fork and kind of, where, you, where can you see me? There you can see me. Kind of mush that all together. Mix it up really nicely. Make sure that the cinnamon gets incorporated in everything. Squish up those big lung lumps of brown sugar. Okay, mix them all together. Okay, at this point, don't stop. Okay, you're not done yet. You want to make sure that all that flour is mixed in. And you will get a lovely brown color when you do that. use my hands. It's more fun that way anyway. All right, he's starting to hold together nicely. Lovely. And this is a streusel topping, but it's also a filling. Um, for this particular coffee cake, you put half of the cake in the pan, and then you give it a layer of streusel and blueberry, and then you repeat. So the other half um, of the cake batter, blueberries, and the streusel on top. Okay, see how that got nice and dark? That's the color you want. He's all mixed together and ready to go. Okay, so let's start on the cake. All right, first of all, we need a cup of sugar. Make sure you have a large enough bowl when you do this because you don't want your bowl running over. And there's our cup of sugar. And then we need 12, this is, remember this is a double batch, so it takes 12 tablespoons of room temperature butter. If you were just making a single batch, it would um, only be six. So double batch, more servings, more butter. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Okay. Put him all in. If your butter is cold, it's not gonna mix right. If your butter is melted, too melted, it's not going to mix right. Okay, so it's very important that you leave it set out at room temperature um, so it creams correctly. Okay? All right. Get this handy dandy little mixer out. Thank you very much to Miss Amy for the loan of her mixer. Okay, 
I apologize, this is going to be loud. Um, but we're going to cream our butter and sugar together for just a minute until it's nice and fluffy. Here we go. Okay, that didn't take long. And if I can get my mixer to stand you what this looks like. It's very nice and fluffy. It's a nice light colored, very fluffy texture. Okay, that's what you're looking for. All right, the next thing that we need um, is two eggs. Let's put them in here. Remember, always crack your egg in a separate bowl just in case he's no good. He's fine. Okay, here's my other egg. And he's good too, so he can go right in. All right. Now this recipe also has sour cream in it, which gives it a lovely tang. So we need half a cup of sour cream. Let's see, I need a spoon. Where is my spoon? There it is. Okay. There's my half a cup of sour cream. Very nice. All right. And then a half a cup of milk. Um, it doesn't really matter. Whole milk, skim milk, 2%, whatever you have, that will work. Uh, this one happens to be 2%, but whatever. Okay. Oh, and vanilla. I need vanilla. Okay. So I need two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna eyeball it. There you go, close enough. Okay, and then just mix this up. Give me just a minute, it's gonna be loud again. is all nicely mixed. Scrape down your sides. Should be lovely, lovely kind of light yellow color. Okay, now we need the dry ingredients. So we need flour. And we need two cups of flour. And make sure when you're measuring your flour, you kind of scrape your scrape a knife, scrape your finger across the top of the cup. That way you get a nice even measure. If you get too much, it's going to dry your cake out. If you get too little, it's going to be too wet. So accurate measuring in baking is, especially in flour, is very important. Okay, there's a cup and a half. And there's two cups. And we may have people in and out in the background. Hello, Miss Diane. She's trying to get some of the coffee cake before it's done. You're just going to have to wait. <laughs> We're in the break room. It happens. It's okay. Okay, and then, oh, yep, baking powder. I need two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now, this is what's going to give your coffee cake the lift. Do not leave this out. If you do, you will have a very flat coffee cake. Also, if your baking powder is too old, you will have a flat coffee cake. Okay, now when you mix in the dry ingredients, I prefer just to fold them in. If you okay. over mix it, you'll get a tough coffee cake. You see, she's trying to steal it before it's done. No, I'm going for the healthy <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> Okay, 
if you over mix this when you add the flour, you will have a tough coffee cake. Um, also, it will activate the gluten in the flour and it won't rise quite as much as it should. Okay, so you'll also have a flat coffee cake. So I prefer to fold in by hand until it's just mixed. Okay, can you see that? It's just mixed. There's no big clumps of flour, no big clumps of liquid. Okay, and my beaters are dripping. Let's get rid of them. Put those in the sink. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to get this ready for the oven. So, I have a springform pan. See, it's a two-piece pan. Bottom falls out, clatters to the counter. Um, you can do this in a regular cake pan, an eight by eight uh, glass pan, anything like that. Whatever you happen to have, it's all gonna taste good. Okay. I don't have my spray today, I forgot it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take one of these butter wrappers from that 12 tablespoons of butter and just rub it on the bottom of the pan. Okay, that's a grandma trick. Waste not, want not. Make sure you use up everything. That's not quite enough, so I've got a little bit stashed here. Use your fingers, it's okay. They're the best kitchen tool you have anyway. Okay, very light coating of butter. No big streaks. Okay. So this, I told you, is a layered coffee cake. So what you're going to do is kinda estimate half. What I do is scrape all my batter together, okay, and I kinda cut half like that and scoop it into the pan. Sorry you can't see that. You got a lovely shot of my big pink bowl. Okay, there's my half. Half. Spread that out in the bottom of your pan. And then that. It's nice, neat, pretty well flat. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then you're going to take half of your streusel topping and put it on top of that layer. doesn't have to be exact. Um, just, <laughs> again, you're going to make fun of me, but I'm going to say it. Eyeball it. It's close enough. The measuring is the important part. This part, just just put it in the pan. It'll be fine. Okay, and then, okay, we've made our streusel, and then we need our blueberries. Okay, it calls for, um, a double batch is gonna call for about two cups of blueberries. Um, these are gigantic. Look at these, they're huge. They're like ping pong balls. Um, <laughs> so I may not use quite so many and I may spread them out just a little bit more. But we're gonna put half of those blueberries on top here, or in the middle, rather. It'll be in the middle. Okay. Isn't that nice? Oop, as they go rolling. Okay, and then you need your other half of bat your batter. Just scrape them out in there. Make sure you get all of it. You will need all of it. Okay. And then spread that out. Now this part is a little more difficult. It takes a little softer hand. You kind of have to work your spatula around. See how I'm kind of rolling it? Kind of half mush, half roll. Okay. And some of the streusel is going to pull up, and that's fine. Because you know what? We're going to put more streusel on the top. No one will ever know the difference. Okay. Yes, I'm using my fingers to get it all off of there. It's fine. It's your coffee cake. 
I washed my hands before I started. It's fine. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put a few more blueberries on top. If you have smaller blueberries, you may use the full two cups. These are huge. I'm not going to use the full two cups. It's just going to be too much. Okay. So sprinkle a few of these on top. Nice and pretty. And here's my other half of my streusel. This is super, super simple. Um, and, and what a great dessert, what a great weekend breakfast. Who doesn't like a coffee cake? Okay. Lovely. All right, that's what he looks like. Doesn't he look pretty? Okay. So then you're going to bake your coffee cake in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Um, at 40 minutes, take him out, check him with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, he's done. If not, put him back in for five minutes. Just keep doing five minute increments. Okay. Now then, here is the finished product. Isn't that pretty? It looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay, here's, here's the wonders of a spring form can. There he is. Isn't that nice? Okay, you see how thin he is? That's why I doubled the recipe on the second one. Um, a coffee cake, in my mind, should be a little bit thicker than that, so that's why I doubled the recipe. Okay, now he needs a glaze to make him even more decadent. So, I have about three quarters of a cup of confectioner's sugar, powdered sugar, and I'm going to add just a little bit of milk to that. It does not take much. You will be surprised how little milk it actually takes. Start with a couple teaspoons. And you know what? If you get it too thin, it's fine. Just add some more sugar. It's very forgiving. See how he's starting to come together? And it at first it looks like all that powdered sugar will not work in there, but I promise you it will. Okay, we could put a little uh, vanilla in this if you would like. You could put a little lemon in this. Oh, that'd be nice with the blueberry. Okay, all right, so here's our glaze. Nice drizzle consistency. Didn't take much milk at all. Okay, here's where you get the kids involved. Get them a big spoonful and let them drizzle. Can you see him? There he goes. Lovely. Okay. All right, guys. All we need now is a cup of coffee. Oh, this would make a lovely Sunday morning breakfast. Okay. Oop, come back here. There he is. Isn't he pretty? Doesn't that look nice? All right. Again, the recipe is going to be posted in the comments. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm hungry. It's dinner time, right? I hope so. At least snack time. All right, the recipe is going to be in the comments. There's another wonderful, easy recipe for you to try. I hope you enjoy it. Um, now, I've also been sharing these videos on my personal page, but please, please, please remember to, to like the Great Bend Public Library Facebook page, and you'll get them as soon as they're posted. All right, guys, happy Thursday. Bye-bye.